This is the gold line system. Let me explain the salt chlorine generation system. It's very, very straightforward. When you open the box first, you'll notice you have a reading here. In this case, it's 3100. This is how we're going to leave you set up. In the off position with your setting at 50%. This controls how much chlorine, how much percentage of that cell is being used, how much chlorine you want to create. This is your off to turn the system off, auto to create chlorine, and superchlorinate to shock your pool. The first reading we want to, when we open the box, is the this salt amount of salt in your pool, in this case 3100. We leave you in the range of 3000 to 3100. you need to find out in your particular pool how much salt you need to get this number up to 3400. So here's what we want to do. We want to find out what the moldable is. How many bags of salt does it take to get this system, this particular pool, from 31 to 34? Let's just say, theoretically, it's one bag equals 300 parts per million in this pool. That means we would add one bag of salt and get this number up to 3,400. If when that number reaches 3,400, you're ready to start creating chlorine. In that case, turn it on to auto. You'll notice it has flashing lights. That's doing a safety check to make sure everything works. Now, here is the system. The controller box over here on the return side would be your cell and your flow meter. This is the probe that tests the water, tells it how much salt is in it. We will leave you in the off position set at 50%. You will add one bag of salt and of C in two days what that effect is. If it reaches 3,400, you know that one bag equals 300 parts per million. You need to know how, how to adjust your salt level. You want to keep it at 34. Once you reach 3,400, you can turn the system on and start creating chlorine. You're going to test your water in three days. Do a tip strip, it'll tell you exactly where your chlorine is. You want to maintain three parts per million of chlorine. If you're at one part, I want you to turn it up to 55% of the output of that cell. Come back in two days, test the water again. Make sure you're at 34. Once you find that here at, let's say, 67, 66%, it creates three parts per million of chlorine, I want you to write that down on the lid of this box. Uh, 67 equals three parts per million chlorine. Then I want you to turn it up fi another five and test it again. I want to know what five parts per million is. Now this is important to adjust this so that you've reached five parts per million. This is used when you're entertaining guests. You have more than 10 people in your swimming pool. You need to be able to be proactive. Get the chlorine level way up before your party so that the part, you know, during the party you don't run the system out of chlorine. We write down our five part per million number. There's three variables in creating chlorine. One, the time it's, you have the system on. In this case, we use a timer, and we, the manufacturer recommends running this system for 10 hours a day. So we set the timer for 10 hours of filtration a day. So that takes that variable out of it. Time is always a, you know steady. The next variable is the percentage. How much percent? That's why we write it down. 
once you have those numbers, it's as simple as doing this. Let's say our salt to our, our salt levels at 3,400, and we know 67 is exactly 67 creates three parts per million of chlorine. We would come over to the unit, push the diagnostics once. That's the current temperature of the pool, 71 degrees. The next time you push it, that will give you a cell reading. That's a voltage reading on the cell. If you have the this, again, another voltage reading. If you have the right amount of salt at 3400, these, these are always perfect. The next time you push it, you'll get a P symbol at the end. That's, the, that's a digital form of this dial. Remember, we wanted to set it at 67%. We used the P setting to exactly set it. Because on here, it looks like it's 70, but the actual percentage is 67. That's why it's important to write things down and put it here. So you know, dial it into 67, you'll create three parts per million. You're having a party tomorrow, and we know our, our uh, setting for um, five parts per million is 82. We again push the diagnostics four times, bring it up, and we set this at 82. Okay? If you keep the salt level at 3,400, that takes the last variable out of it. The salt's always going to be a constant. Now it's just a matter of being constant with this. If you produce the same amount of chlorine based on a 10-hour cycle at 67%, and it equals 3 parts per million because you've done the early equation, then you can literally set this system and don't have to mess with it the rest of the season you know what the equation is. All you have to do is on a weekly basis come out here and sh open this box. Make sure that that reads 3400.